can turn the world on with a smile You can take a nothing day And suddenly make it all seem worthwhile But it's a girl and you should know it Each words and every little movement you show it Love is all around, don't need to fake it You can never it down, why don't you take it? You're gonna make it after all Hey everybody, welcome to the show. Today is Thursday, June 7th, and Mark has 761 days left to go in his U.S. prison sentence. That's until his early release date of July 9th, 2014. However, Mark did just write a blog that you can read at CannabisCulture.com and Freemark.ca where he talks about the transfer process. He was rejected last time, as many of you may know. Uh, the U.S. government decided not to let him get approved to come home and serve a sentence in Canada, but he can apply again in April of next year and he will do so. So we need a bit of support to get that going. We'd love to have more political endorsements for him. We did get over 23 representatives of all levels of government in Canada to endorse his transfer last time around, but again it was the US government that rejected it. So if you want to hear what Mark has to say about the idea of being transferred and what he needs from you, his supporters, please be sure to read his most recent blog at CannabisCulture.com and Freemark.ca. I'll be off to visit Mark uh, this weekend. I leave tomorrow getting up at 3.30 a.m. for my journey all the way down to Mississippi. So I'll be able to talk with him about my upcoming appearance and presentation at Idea City. Uh, this is a big event. I'm very nervous, I'm going to admit, about it. I've been feeling a bit anxious because it's a big deal. It's a different audience. I'm speaking about marijuana to a audience of many different types of people. Uh, and so I hope to do well. I feel I, I do a pretty good job speaking normally, but I've got to admit this one's got me a bit nervous. So uh, wish me luck, but I'll be meeting with Mark and talking with him. And he's spoken there twice. He even told me this morning, I'm not going to tell you not to be anxious, because I was too. I was totally nervous. But once you're done speaking, it'll be excellent. You'll just relax. And thankfully, I'm one of the first presenters on the first day, so I get it out of the way. And then there's three full days of very interesting people speaking about a wide range of topics. So go to ideacityonline.com and you can see what it's all about. I've got my bio there too about who I am and what I'm doing. And uh, Wish me luck, as I said. I hope it goes well. <laughs> so, news in the marijuana movement. This is exciting. We have a lot of friends out on the East Coast and in Rhode Island. In fact, one of Mark's biggest friends and fans and supporters, Catherine Leach, who transcribed all his blogs when he was in the private prison and only able to type things on a typewriter. She did a lot of great work, helped do the Free Mark Emery free water bottle giveaway at the Stephen Colbert and John Stewart rally in Washington, D.C. I mean, Catherine and her husband and their crew have been incredibly helpful to me and Mark. So they've been working hard, no doubt, with everybody there who just got passed, not quite into law, but to the governor's desk, a one ounce decriminalization bill for marijuana. That's decrim for everybody. That would be amazing if it passes. And the governor said he's inclined to pass the bill. So go to CannabisCulture.com and check out the news there or just Google it. I'm sure there's a lot of stories you'll find online. And in other good news from the East Coast, Connecticut just passed the law for medical marijuana and is now the 17th state in the United States to have medical marijuana laws available to people. So that's incredible. There's so much progress being made. Even though the DEA said when they had Mark arrested that it was a significant blow to the marijuana legalization movement, we've seen the movement grow and spread the seeds and spread the medicine and the healing herb everywhere on a greater scale than ever before. Of course, the war against us and the prisons and the police, that's all getting worse too. But at least the good is still going on while the bad continues too. It'll always be a war between good and evil and we're on the side of good and we get our victories and we have our losses. But uh, Mark will be home in 2014 for sure when we're going to kick the Conservative Party out of office here in Canada. We're going to have to organize very well against them because they steal elections, they cheat, they lie, they steal. They're not a legitimate government, so it's going to take a lot of effort to get them out of office with this majority power they have. But uh, we can't give up hope. We've got to save this country. And even if we don't in the end, it's worth it to try rather than to just let it all fall apart. So that's why I keep fighting. And uh, even though it's sometimes depressing, 
I keep my head up because there's not really any other choice besides being depressed and I don't want to be depressed so following Mark's example and speaking of Mark every week I do the free Mark t-shirt giveaway I'm going to be giving this away to a winner who has entered from last week's show you'll also get a free Mark button and hopefully all the stickers if they're all in in stock I think we might be missing one of them but uh, I'll make sure that you get the goods in the mail but every week we draw from the bubble bag excellent product at Cannabis Culture Headquarters. You can buy this and more online at CannabisCulture.com slash store or come down to Vancouver, BC, where of course we have a gigantic headquarters, three stories tall, museums and lounges and stores and more and pot TV and cannabis culture and your everything you need but the weed, we like to say. <laughs> so the winner this week is going to be Danny R. Uh, your email is gravewalker1975 at AOL. Thank you so much for entering. I'll get you the prize sent out as soon as possible. I'll be gone for the next week, so I don't know exactly what I'll do for my weekly show, but next Wednesday I do my speech, so maybe after that or at some point, it's a busy day, maybe I'll try and get a video done and upload and let you guys know how it's going. But thanks so much for tuning in. Of course, enter for the draw next time around. Maybe a two weeks from now I'll do the draw for the free mark t-shirt and just send an email to Jody at CannabisCulture.com. And as always, be sure to check out CannabisCulture.com, pot.tv, freemark.ca, and all of our Twitter and Facebook accounts and all that are in the links below in the information under this video. So be sure to check that out. Subscribe to Pot TV and send a letter to Mark. He absolutely loves your support. And so do I. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys here in the office in two weeks. Peace. I had something called the Toker's Bowl, which I do every year in Vancouver. We have 200, 200 250 people. In fact, a lot of people from Idea City in the past have come, <laughs> and by the way. And uh, I won't name names, but you might meet them tonight. And, uh, and they, uh, we have this big ceremony where I have 25 different kinds of marijuana. But basically, throughout the weekend, we, I distribute 20 pounds of marijuana. Everybody gets 25 one-gram samples, 250 people, times, you know, everybody's got one ounce. It's about, like, we give about 20 pounds. And I'm thinking, here's a man who's spending six years in a Canadian jail for, give, for just distributing half of what I give out routinely. And I'm thinking, wow, that's shocking. And, of course, the Canadian government has new proposals for marijuana. And they're proposing something that I'm calling recriminalization because actually Ontario is the one jurisdiction in the whole world, in the whole Western world, where marijuana is absolutely legal. You can possess it, you won't get charged, and I plan to have a demonstration in front of the Toronto Police Headquarters tomorrow at 4.20 in the afternoon. It's been announced, and I, I'm fortunate, I'm sorry to say I'll have to miss that speaker, but I will be down the street in front of the Toronto Police Headquarters smoking marijuana and, and quite obviously possessing it and daring the police to take it away from me because there have been two court decisions here in Ontario that have validated that there is no marijuana law, that the government has failed in the past to provide adequate, adequate medical marijuana laws and you can tell that when a guy has to basically starve to death just to get a marijuana cookie in jail. There is no marijuana laws. Of May 16th, Justice Stephen Rogan said, listen, the government's been very negligent and derelict and the previous court of, you know, so basically there's no marijuana law. This is the first place in the Western world where marijuana is completely free of any kind of legal sanction. So I hope you'll all celebrate that with me tonight as I bring you some of the marijuana we had at the Toker's Bowl. Fine stuff it is.